Disneyland Cats Disneyland is home to some unexpected residents that might give Mickey Mouse pause. The famous park is home to dozens of feral cats who roam the park day and night keeping any rodents in check. The first colony of feral cats at Disneyland was discovered in the late 1950s when company executives decided to turn the Sleeping Beauty Castle from a mere prop into a real attraction. A few years after the park opened to the public, they found some cats inside the building shell. According to a Disney history buff, workers discovered dozens of cats living there. The felines were chased out, but later, because of a soaring rodent problem, they were allowed to return. Many of those cats were adopted by cast members. Most are nocturnal and visitors never even know that they exist. There is a team of Disney cast members that are assigned to ensure park-wide clouders are healthy. The cats are fed at stations near the Hungry Bear Restaurant in Disneyland and Whitewater Snacks at Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. It's been estimated that there are about a couple dozen cats in the park today. All of those cats are spayed and neutered in order to prevent overpopulation. When accidents happen and a litter of kittens is born, they are usually adopted out to Disneyland cast members or their friends and family in order to keep the population size under control. Guests are prohibited from feeding animals in the park overall, and for the most part, these animals usually keep to themselves. Most visitors to Disneyland have no idea that feral cats even inhabit the park, but they've become their own attraction for cat fanciers. Some people find these Disneyland cats particularly fascinating because they're at Disneyland. Disneyland has a mouse, and cats chase mice. So they basically chase Mickey. It's kind of a funny thing. Disneyland officials will grudgingly acknowledge their existence, though they'd really rather not. They won't say exactly how many cats there are or provide details about their care. Although the cats largely live by their own wits, the park does provide hidden feeding stations, neutering, and medical care for them. The best place to spot them is around the Disneyland Hotel or the Grizzly River Run in Disney California Adventure. Some people feel so attached to the cats of Disneyland that over 76,000 of them signed an online petition in 2015 after the city of Anaheim passed an ordinance banning the feeding of feral cats. City officials were forced to hastily clarify that the Disneyland cats weren't at risk of being starved to death because they're on private property. Even actor Ryan Gosling, who in 1993 was briefly a mouseketeer on the new Mickey Mouse Club, has done his part to spread their fame. In an interview in Conan O'Brien's late night TV show in 2011, Gosling joked that there was a belief out there that Disneyland had a secret army of commando cats living in the barracks. He said, at night, under the cover of darkness, these cats descend into the park and they eat all the mice. With a deadpan face, Gosling then pointed out that the whole empire of Disney is built on one mouse, adding, if you are a mouse and you go to Disneyland, you are not leaving alive.